Thanks, Jackie. Hi, Lewis. Um, obviously, disappointing result and a shame which overshadowed your, your two your two great goals that you scored in the first half. Can you just talk about the goals and just the disappointment of not not being able to see it out? Yeah, I mean, um, it's all good scoring two goals when you win games or get points. Or um, at the moment, it's bittersweet. I don't really care about them much, to be honest. Um, I would much rather not score and and we get three points. Something we highlighted before the game was when we do score, um, we're conceding goals within the next sort of 10 minutes. It's something that we can't do. Um, we can't give away the goals that we're giving away and expect to win games. So um, that's something that we need to look at. Thank you, Steve. Uh, next, we'll go to Neil Blackman. Neil, you're off mute. Thanks, Jackie. Hi, Luis. Um, Obviously, the, the two goals are big, but but you guys come out and, and start the game flat a little bit again and give up the early goal. You know, what do you think goes into some of these uh, slow starts or, or what happened on the first goal tonight? Well, the first goal is probably my fault, to be honest. Um, we defend the set piece. They take it short. The ball comes out. We don't react to it. Um, it was the ball to the back post that maybe I should be inside. I think it was Matrita. Um, I mean, the re general reaction to, to conceding goals was good. Um, just as, as we concede goals when, when after we'd scored, they'd done the same. Um, we got ourselves back in the game twice. And as I said, not been able to make it to half time at two each. Um, it was tough. But I mean, coming out second half, I mean, I was confident that we were going to be able to score and keep creating chances and it wasn't to be. Um, so it's something we'll need to reflect on. Thank you, Neil. Uh, next, we'll go to Colby Price. Colby, you're off mute. Thanks, Jackie. Appreciate the time, Lewis. Uh, Blaze, right before you came up, he mentioned that uh, with the defensive lapses, he thinks it's a concentration thing. I guess, one, do you see the same thing? And two, if it is a concentration thing, how do you get the team to be more focused defensively besides just saying we need to be more uh, be more focused? Like, how do you get a team to be more concentrated? Well, the first thing I would say is that, um, by improving defensively, that doesn't just mean the back four. I mean, we have a corner. They win the first set, that breaks to the edge of the box and they score from it. That's nothing to do with the back four. That's, as players touched on, concentration, being focused, being secure. Um, and I mean that's down to the players that's, that's something that we need to look at you can coach all you want, do drills whatever, um, Blazers probably hit the nail on the head there, it's concentration where last few games have been slack um, conceded goals um, and as a team as defensively it's not um, it's not just singling out a back four or whatever um, but we are, we made individual mistakes tonight and we're punished um, that's what happens at this level, um, and we can't afford to be making these mistakes. And um, it gives yourself an uphill battle. Um, and as I say, to, to score two goals at home nine times out of ten, you would hope that would be enough to get a win. And tonight it wasn't. Thank you. We'll take one more question. For Franco, you're off mute. Thank you, Jackie. Lewis, uh, you know, congrats on the two goals. I know it's not the result you guys wanted. Um, and speaking of, of the result, you guys don't move in the standings. You guys stay in, in 13th place, but the, the point gap has, has widened a little bit, six points now. Obviously, there's still a lot of games left, but how, how important is it for you guys to start getting consistent results so that the season doesn't come to an end uh, earlier than you guys want? Yeah, I mean, one thing I would say is obviously there are plenty of games to turn it around, but games run out um, fast. So um, it's all well having the amount of games we've got left to play, but you said it there yourself, we need to start winning for those games to matter. I mean, it's all well and good saying that there's plenty of games to turn it around, but um, we as players need to turn it around ourselves. The only players, are, people that are going to do that is us, the 11 starters, the, the guys that come into the game. Um, they're the ones that impact the result and um, six points isn't a huge gap. I mean, we've got a really talented group. We can definitely do that. We can close that gap. We can go on a win and run at the moment. Um, it's tough when you get into that habit of we're not picking up points. It's tough to turn the momentum around, but it's something that once you get that first win, um, I mean, anything can happen. We just need to get into the playoffs and then 
just one off knockout games and um, it was something to look forward to. So definitely confident we can get there, but also there's a realization that um, we won't get there if we play like we're playing at the moment.